You know, people ask me, you know, when I go to these different schools across the country, you know, Jeremy, why do you do what you do? And, uh, and honestly, you know, I know how it feels to fail. You know, I know how it feels to suffer. I know how it feels to struggle. You know, I know how it feels to feel like, you know, you're a mistake or you're a failure. So, you know, I want to speak life to these kids to help them know that they can bounce back. You know, I went to three different schools for the ninth grade. I know how it feels to fail. You know what I'm saying? Diagnosed with ADHD, drug and alcohol abuse, I had issues, but I also bounced back. So I want to show these kids your condition is not your conclusion. There is so much more that you can experience in life. So I don't know who I'm speaking to, right? If we are not intentional about being successful, if we do not intentionally say, I am going to be successful, I am going to make wise choices, I am going to make better decisions, I am going to value school, I'm going to be everything I'm supposed to be. If we're not intentional about saying that, and we kind of just float through life and just do whatever and we just have a good time, then we can accidentally become a failure. So you want to know why I do what I do? I do it for the students who have been hurt, who have been pushed aside who have been molested. You know, I do it for the students who feel like they don't have much worth of value. I do it for the students who feel like they keep failing and they can't get it together. I do it for the students who feel like nobody in their parents went to college or was successful, so they can't become successful. I do it for the students who grow up in fatherless homes. I do it for the students who are struggling. I do it for them because somebody once did it for me. Some of you, you feel like you come from a broken home, you feel like it's not right, but that does not lower your worth, that does not lower your value. There is still a purpose, there is still a plan for your life. So I want to challenge you to say, okay, this happened to me, this was not right, but I am not going to stay there. I want to challenge you to say, I will not stay there, I will not let that define me, that would be the very thing that will refine me and take me to the next level. I tell students all the time, your DNA doesn't determine your destiny, your decisions do. You know, in all my travels, in all these different schools across the country, I've been to every type of school there is. And one thing I know about this new generation is that they're struggling. They're dealing with some heavy, heavy stuff. But one other thing I know about this new generation is that these kids are resilient. These kids are strong. These kids are fighters. And I'm here to fight with them. Society might see the worst in them, but I see the best in them. Jeremy was really cool. Everything he said really touched me. This speech was one of the best speeches I've ever heard. And this speech, I was able to really connect with it. The struggles make you stronger, and that really impacted me. Hey, what's up my people? Look, I hope you enjoyed today's video and check this out. I've got so many more in store for you. So subscribe and do me a favor. Please leave me a comment, an emoji, a thumbs up, something. Let me know you're feeling it. Me and my team put so much energy, time and effort into it and it's free for you. Just let me know you're feeling what we putting out here and I'll see y'all real soon. Leave a comment, peace.